Hey everyone, my name is Parnita Rahi. I'm a principal PM in the AI Frameworks team at Microsoft. And today I'm joined by my colleague uh, from Azure Machine Learning and uh, Swati Gharse. And we'll give you a quick overview of foundation models that are now available within Azure Machine Learning. Foundation models provide native capabilities that enable customers to quickly build and operationalize open source foundation models at scale and also easily integrate them into pre-trained models uh, in your applications. So let's start. Hey Swati, thanks for joining. Um, so could you give our audiences a quick overview of what foundation models are? Sure, hey Parinita, thanks for asking. Foundation models is a topic close to heart. Uh, these are basically large scale models, machine learning models that are trained on massive amounts of data. And the cool thing about foundation models is that they can be very easily adapted to perform a wide variety of tasks, including things like NLP or computer vision or, you know, the very popular generative AI tasks for creating new content. Mm -hmm. uh, these foundational models have enabled machines to perform really complex tasks, things that we used to think of as being, you know, only part of the human domain of expertise. Um, this is now possible for machines to do. And in Azure ML, we empower our users to discover these foundation models, customize them for you know, users' own environments and use cases, and then operationalize these, these large foundation models at scale, all starting from the model catalog, which is your starting point for exploring collections of foundation models. We have collections of uh, open source foundational models, the latest open source models, as well as open AI models in there. Yeah, great. Thank you for, for sharing that. I mean, you know, the AI landscape, as we see, keeps changing every week. And, and it's great to have this at the disposal of our users to conveniently use and apply for their applications. So a big shout out to, to the team for getting that uh, out and about. And I know that the team continuously works on adding new models. And I don't want to steal your thunder, but is there a latest one you would like to talk about? Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for asking that. You're totally right. The open source uh, you know, model landscape changes so rapidly that what's new today is actually like replaced by something else next week, right? And just last week at Inspire, Microsoft announced a partnership with Meta, where Microsoft is the preferred partner as Meta brings Llama 2, their latest uh, LLM for generative AI as they bring it out open source. Azure is the preferred partner for, for bringing this out on the cloud. So I can really share my screen here and show you guys real quick what some of these cool models are. What I'm showing here is uh, the Azure Machine Learning Studio. This is where users start out on their journey for Azure Machine Learning. And the model catalog is the hub I was referring to earlier, which is your starting point of all foundation models. And we have, we have foundation models from open source, from Hugging Face, from OpenAI. And the latest Llama 2 model that was launched just last week at Inspire can be seen up here. You can navigate to these models from the Llama 2 card. And you can see we have variants of the 7 billion parameter, the 13 billion parameter, and 70 billion parameters. And we have both the pre-trained and the fine-tuned variants of these models. The pre-trained models are used for uh, generative te text tasks, while the fine-tuned models have been fine-tuned for chat completions. So I'll take a look at one of these models real quick and show you what that looks like. <clears throat> In here, you can see all the details around the 13 billion parameter model. And uh, the model card has all the details about like how was this model trained, uh, any considerations around using these responsibly, hardware, software uh, considerations as well. And there are links to all the sample code-based notebooks for using these models, as well as sample inputs and outputs for inferencing the model. And from within the model catalog itself, it's very easy for a user to get started fine-tuning the model. Like, for example, if they want to customize the model for their own uh, scenario, they can simply provide their own training data in here, provide the compute for fine-tuning the model, and at the end of the fine-tuning job, they have a model that's customized for their own scenario or they can easily go ahead and evaluate the model out here. Uh, and for evaluation, they would provide their own test data and they would get evaluation metrics to see how the model performed in their, in their own setting and see if that model is good enough for use. 
And of course, they can go ahead and deploy the model out here. And one of the real cool things we did about bringing the Llama 2 models into Azure Machine Learning is we enabled Azure AI content safety by default, which is extremely important because as organizations start thinking about, you know, using these models responsibly and offering a safe offering with that model, you want to make sure that you are addressing model safety at multiple layers. So the models themselves have some safety layer built in, but this is an additional layer of safety from Azure AI where the inputs and outputs are filtered for harmful content and you can configure it to you know, filter out harmful content at different levels of harm. And that's as you can see, this is integrated by default in the deployment flow. And real quick, I will show you an endpoint uh, that we have in here. So this here is my is my Llama 2 uh, 13 billion model chat endpoint that I have previously deployed. And I can come in here and quickly test this model to see what kind of, uh, you know, what kind of uh, response it gives me. So this is the fine-tuned model, fine-tuned for chat completion. And I am giving it content here, you know, giving it, giving it content about my question as a user, asking it, I'm going to Paris, what should I see? And you can see in here that with the conversational nature of this um, of this model and its response, we can provide context and say, hey, you gave me some results. What was so great about your recommendation number one, which was the Eiffel Tower? And then you can see the model response back, understands that context in conversation and tells me all the great reasons why I should go visit the Eiffel Tower. Great. I mean, yeah, that's, that's quite helpful. It's good to see like the overall flow from like training, fine tuning to deployment and even like not having to worry about considerations like responsible AI, et cetera, and making it so easy for, for users to leverage these powerful AI models. Um, so what scenarios do you see this help uh, enable? Like, you know, who are your target users that, that you want to focus uh, with this, these uh, set of foundation models that are now included within Azure Machine Learning? That's a great question. So our target users are data scientists and ML developers who are looking to leverage these latest open source models at scale. And with the native support we have built in Azure ML for foundation models, these users can easily discover the model, customize it for their own scenario, operationalize it at scale. Also, they can use it in, uh, in uh, scenarios like prompt engineering, which is very common with these generative AI models. So we have PromptFlow, which is a prompt engineering tool in Azure Machine Learning. And once a user deploys one of these foundation models, they can very easily plug it into their prompt flow and use that in prompt engineering as well. And the reason all of this is really cool, you know, with native support and Azure machine learning is because in the past, using these models used to be a really cumbersome task where the user had to manage all the underlying dependencies, you know, whether they are like environment dependencies or infrastructure dependencies, all of that had to be manually handled. And with this new native support in Azure Machine Learning, Azure ML takes care of all of this and the user can use the model out of the box, just, just like I showed you. Like it's very simple. You don't need to know a whole lot about that model to be able to start leveraging it and building on top of it. Yeah, great. Can't wait to see like the great applications people now start building on top mm -hmm. of these powerful models. Um, so given this is uh, open at Microsoft, I know uh, this uh, particular uh, you know project with foundation models both leverages uh, you know open source communities and and uh, the work we do within Microsoft also for open source contributes towards like optimizing uh, these. Could you like elaborate a bit more on how does this uh, take advantage of open source and also like you know how does how do we at Microsoft also kind of help evangelize or expand uh, these open source communities? Totally. Totally. So the model catalog is your starting point for using the latest open source foundation models, of course. We have like all the latest open source models in there that users can start using. But like you mentioned, we also leverage open source technologies in here to bring cool capabilities to our users. For example, uh, the foundation models in here, they include optimizations, open source optimizations, things like deep speed and ORT, which speed up your fine tuning greatly. And we also support uh, LoRa which greatly reduces the memory and compute requirements when you're fine tuning. So basically, like you rightly said, you know, we offer open source models, but also let users build on top of uh, these models using other open source technologies that we have used in these capabilities for these models. 
Great. Yeah, like I, I know I work on the Onyx Runtime, uh, which is the ORT that you mentioned. And we generally, see, <clears throat> sorry, we generally see like for, you know, on average for these LLMs uh, in eager mode, if you like apply these training optimizations around 11% improvement in, in Torch compile mode, over 21% improvement. So those definitely help uh, users kind of cut down their uh, compute time and, and resources. Okay. And that's that's a pretty powerful scenario. And these open source communities are both like heavily contributed by Microsoft, but we also would like more uh, users to start like using and applying them in their applications. So thanks, thank you for all that useful information. Any parting thoughts or call to action for users watching this video? Well, um, so like given that all of this is open source, you know, the greatness of this is going to come from what our users can build on top of what we've offered in a truly democratic fashion. Like. At, at Azure, we make these models available, but then really the, the beauty lies in what our customers end up building with this. So our call to action would be asking all users, you know, get to the Azure ML model catalog, start exploring these foundation models, and we can't wait to see what you'd end up building with all of these state-of-the-art capabilities. Sounds good. Can't wait to see as well. Thank you. Thanks.